Greetings to all of us. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce myself. My name is Brian Richard Wola, and I am from State University of Manado. On this occasion, I would like to present our paper entitled Do Prospective Science Teachers Experience Misconception? Identification Using a Digital Biological Macromolecules 3 Tire Test, BM3T. Introduction As we know that teaching science is challenging because it entails changing student naive theories about the world. Misconceptions about scientific concepts are experienced not only among high school students but also among students at the university level. Prospective science teachers are required to take general biology one course where the topic of biological macromolecules is one of the major studies. In fact, the topic of biological macromolecules is an abstract concept and thus potentially causes misconceptions. However, misconceptions about biological macromolecules have not been reported in any previous studies. Therefore, this study aims to identify prospective science teachers' misconceptions about biological macromolecules using a digital BM3T. Research Method this research was conducted using a quantitative descriptive research type. Our samples consisted of 73 students majoring in science education at the State University of Manado. The research instrument is the digital BM3T, consisting of 16 items. We used descriptive statistical analysis to analyze the data collected from the answers of prospective science teachers in the form of descriptive percentages. The results of the analysis of prospective science teachers' answers were adjusted according to the category of conceptions profiled by Arslan et al. The percentages obtained in each category of conception profile are then put into four categories, very high, high, medium, and low. Results and discussion. The answer of prospective science teachers that have been collected are analyzed and divided into four categories, namely scientific knowledge, misconception, lucky guess, and lack of knowledge. Figure 1 shows about percentage of prospective science teachers' answers on digital bm items. Based on figure 1, it is known that prospective science teachers have misconceptions about 15 items out of 16 items on digital BM3T. In the scientific knowledge category, item number 5 shows the highest percentage while item number 1 shows the lowest. In the misconception category, item number 11 indicates the highest percentage while item number 1 shows the lowest percentage. In the lucky guess category, item number 1 shows the highest percentage while item number 14 and 16 show the lowest percentage. And last, in the lack of knowledge category, item number 1 shows the highest percentage, while item number 4 and 5 show the lowest percentage. Figure 2 shows about percentage of conception profile categories of prospective science teachers on biological macromolecules. We find that the profile of prospective science teachers' conceptions in the scientific knowledge category is at the medium level, the misconception category at the medium level, the lucky guess category at the low level, and the lack of knowledge category is included at the low level. Now we see Table 1. Table 1 shows the prospective science teachers' misconception on the topic of biological macromolecules that we have identified. There are 14 misconceptions, where 4 misconceptions are in the high category and 10 are in the medium category. We can see that on the concept of carbohydrates, there are 4 misconceptions. On the conception of lipids, there are 5 misconceptions. On the concept of proteins, there are two misconceptions, and on the concept of nucleic acids, there are two misconceptions that we have identified. 
some of the misconceptions revealed in this study have not been reported in previous studies. Conclusion Based on the result of our research, there were 14 misconceptions identified on the topic of biological macromolecules, with details for misconceptions being in the high category, while 10 misconceptions were in the medium category. The steroid is a lipid molecule with the hydrophilic properties because one end is polar is a misconception with the highest percentage. Nevertheless, the misconceptions of prospective science teachers on the topic of biological macromolecules as a whole are in the medium category. That is the presentation of our research. Thank you for your attention.